Hello everyone! Roxas here, welcome you to episode number one of our Pokemon Shining Pearl Let's Play. <laughs> uh, yeah, welcome to this uh, new Let's Play. Uh, I was actually hoping for a cool uh, intro before we started the game, as they usually were on the Nintendo 3DS, I think it was. Uh, there was like a little cutscene before starting everything. I might be wrong, but I don't remember that much. <laughs> But yeah, uh, welcome to this uh, Let's Play of uh, the Remakes. Uh, I said I was going to do something on this Let's Play and I didn't mm, load it just yet. But yeah, uh, hi, welcome. If it's the first time that you're here, I'm Roxas and I'm going to be playing through this uh, game. I know I'm a little bit late to the party, but uh, I'm... I wanted to upload these anyways. Uh, I was gonna play it on my own, but eh, I wanted to see their your reactions to when I react to something, maybe. <laughs> but yeah, uh, let's enjoy this uh, game together. And uh, well, the idea on this let's play is to actually uh, try to follow through a parallel uh, let's walkthrough. And uh, see how much the game has changed. So it's going to be like a comparison. Uh, I was gonna play it on my 3DS, on my capture card, and play both games at the same time, but I think that's a little bit too much. <laughs> so, uh, <coughs> sorry about that. Uh, I just find that the Okay. <coughs> Sorry. Oh my god. Uh, be saliva. Blah, Okay. Uh, really? That's... Are you gonna block the whole thing? But yeah, let's just start the game and playing in English because that's... Okay. That was a little bit wild. Of a sound. There's actually no sound in this. Interesting. Hello there. It is very nice to meet you. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. Oh, music. <laughs> my name is Rowan, and it's uh, very loud on my ears, so hold on. Uh, for you, it should be the same. <laughs> uh, my name is Rowan. However, everyone just calls me the Pokemon Professor. This world is widely inhabited by creatures known as Pokemon. A Munchlax. We humans live alongside a Pokemon as friends. At times we play together and others we work together. People use their Pokemon to battle and develop closer bonds with them. What do I do? I conduct research so that we may learn more about Pokemon. You know what, I've... I have an idea of an actual Pokemon game. Instead of doing the battles, why don't... are we just researchers? Wait. I think that's what uh, Legends is going to be for. <laughs> hmm. Interesting. Because my idea isn't as original as I thought. <laughs> okay. That's sad. Now, why don't you tell me a little bit about yourself? Choose your photo from the lineup. Oh, wait! Did I choose already? Can I cancel? <laughs> can I go back? Oh, yes, I can. Uh, well, I guess I'm this guy, but with his hair. I'm not so white, actually. You know what? I am. I wish we could change the color here, but I think that's a little thing we can do later. So, as you know, I am uh, Roxas. Hi. Nice to meet you. <coughs> Your name is Roxas. Okay, so you're Roxas. A fine name, that is. Now this boy here, I believe he's your friend. What might his name be? 
Wow! Clean the rough, Luis and Tommy. What? Wasn't his name Barry? Okay. <coughs> Uh, let's do some comparison. Here it says, in the beginning, when you first turn on the game, Professor Rowan introduces himself and says that you says to call, just call him the Pokemon Professor. Then he asks if this is your first adventure and is willing to give you advice as needed, such as the basic control and adventure information. Then he asks you to touch the button in the middle of the Pokeball that appears on the TLR in the DS's touch screen. Okay, we, here we don't. Well, it is a touchscreen, but since it's also a console game, that doesn't happen. <laughs> that appear on your 3DS touchscreen. A Munchlax then appears from the Pokeball, and Rowan goes on to speak about the human relationship alongside Pokemon as friends. Then he states that it's his job as a professor to conduct research on these Pokemon. So, pretty much the same, so far. Uh, we don't have a touchscreen, so that means that's okay. <laughs> then you are asked if you are a boy or a girl, so choose wisely as you'll be unable to change your gender once you've started your adventure. You know what? That would be kind of different to say in a game, to be able to change your gender mid-game. That's wild. <laughs> Has a game ever done that? I don't think so, but that's wild. To think that in the middle of the game you can change your gender. Interesting. <coughs> uh, then you must choose a name which is, will also stay with you for the remainder of the game. Then you're asked what your friend's name is. He will be your rival. His official name is Barry. So from now on he is referred as Barry in this walkthrough. Your adventure has begun, so it's time to jump to the world of Pokémon. Okay, so his name was Barry. I'm gonna call him Barry. I think also in the anime his name is Barry. Where's the B? <laughs> B A W R Y Barry. Barry, is it? That's your friend's name? Yes. All right. <coughs> All right, Roxas. The time has come. Your very own tale of grand adventure is about to unfold. On your journey, you will meet countless Pokémon and people. I'm sure that along the way, you will discover many things, perhaps even something about yourself. Now go on and leap into the world of Pokémon. And we're transported into this artwork that I hate. Uh, hate is a strong word, so I'm just gonna say I don't like it. <laughs> Despite the exploration of Team's best efforts, the rare oddly colored Pokémon eluded detection. The rumored Red Gyarados failed to appear even fleetingly Fleetingly to the Crest Fallen team. Wow! That concludes our special report search for the Red Gyarados. <laughs> that, that happens? Yeah, that happens. Search for the Red Gyarados. <clears throat> okay, here we start on. The journey begins at your home in Twinleaf Town. You are watching the television special report titled Search for the Red Gyarados, in which a news broadcaster team describes a team searching for a Red Gyarados in a far-off lake, which is presumably the Lake of Rage in Johto. Okay, that makes sense. The broadcast states that the team has not observed the Pokémon in question. Okay. Brought to you by Jubilife TV on Nation nationwide net okay see you next week uh, something there's a nintendo switch on the floor oh my god i hate this <laughs> i don't know why i don't like the big headed uh thingies uh, also in x and y we had a big headed uh avatar but this thing he looks kind of funny oh no this is my controller that kind of lags why don't we move faster from side to side than from front to back? That's so wild. That's so weird. You check the PC, Pokemon Basics. People live alongside Pokemon in this world. The people that battle Pokemon are called the Pokemon Trainers. Oh my god, it feels so weird that I move so slow on the... 
up and down, and left and right is ah, run. The X button opens the menu. Okay, head downstairs. Wow, they have. Okay. Back and options. First options, I'm gonna be changing it's the text speed to fast. I know that I'm not the uh, faster fastest reader, but uh, I am gonna change this. We're playing through Pearl, so I think that this pink one kind of has a charm to it, but I'm not gonna use it. If there's like a purple one, because it's the mixture of yeah, kind of. <laughs> Of a blue and pink. <laughs> There's no purple one. Oh, I like this one. <laughs> yeah, type 24. Hold on. Battle fix on. Battle style. I'll, I always get it on set, even if it's a Nuzlocke or a regular Let's Play, so that's that. Send to boxes. Manual. Because why not? Give nicknames. Now, usually I don't give nicknames to the Pokemon I catch. But I think I will, just because it's a Let's Play of a previous game. So, the gyroscope out of save. I'm gonna put it on off. Mainly because if I... Uh, lose a recording, I can just uh, re-record that episode. Uh, it has happened once or twice in the past. So, background... Oh, I can change this. Interesting. I mean, I, <laughs> I changed this on post-edit, in any case. So, uh, I'm just gonna lower the price. Just a little bit, just by one. And that's it! Those are the settings we're gonna be doing. And let's check the back and see if we have a potion or something. Wow, this... This kinda looks like the one in the actual 3DS. Well, actually, it's the DS, right? Because it was on the DS, wow! Four consoles ago? Because there was the three after the DS was the uh, 3DS, then the DSi, then the new 3DS, the 2DS, and now the Switch. Hold on, that can't be right. I'm sorry, I have to check that out. <laughs> uh, list of consoles, Nintendo. Okay, so... Uh, neutral point, Nintendo 64... I didn't know that they divided these by generations. <laughs> but yeah, from the... DS It was on 2006 Jesus Christ <laughs> The DS uh, Game Boy Micro? Which one was that? I never played that Wow Interesting It was a tiny DS Well, a sideways DS Okay Uh I don't know how to count this, but uh, the game after DS, the Nintendo DS, we had the Game Boy Micro, Nintendo DS Lite, which I don't think we should count it. There's the Wii, the DSi, the DSi XL, the 3DS, the 3DX XL, the Wii U, the Nintendo 3DS. Why did the DS come before the DS XL? That doesn't make any sense. The new Nintendo 3DS, then the, the Nintendo 3DS XL, <laughs> and then the Nintendo Switch. 
there were there was also the new Nintendo 2DS, the Nintendo Switch Lite, but that's later on, and the Switch OLED. Interesting. I'm gonna call it five. Because one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, five consoles ago, more or less, depending on how you consider if the DSi and the DSi XL are two different generations, but I think that's that they came out at the same time. Kind of. But that's wild. <laughs> okay. But I'm pretty sure that this is uh, the same as it looked on the 3DS, the bag at least. It told you where uh, to hide everything. Or to hide, to store everything. Can I get in my bed? I can! Oh my god, that's so cute. <laughs> and can I check my... This is a huge room to have like this. This is a weird place to put your bed. I will put like here and facing the TV. Right? And the TV I would put it on a stand so that I can maybe switch it off. Eh, I mean turning it turn it around. But that's something I would do too. What was this? Oh the expert on the menu. Okay, so let's head downstairs and our mother is there. Roxas, Barry came calling for you a little while ago. I don't know what it was about, but he said it was an emergency. Okay. Here it says the same on the on your way out of the house. Your mother will tell you that your rival wishes to see you as it is an emergency. She also warns you to stay out of the tall grass, which she, actually I don't think she did. Maybe she tells us once we get out. Oh look, the TV has something on it! That's amazing. Oh, this game could have had such a huge potential, but... Uh, I think I've said this before. Uh, this art style of the game, I don't like it, but... Uh, my superstition, I'm gonna call it? Or my guess on why they did it like this, uh, this game... Is because of... Legends Arceus, so that... The difference on those games, it's noticeable. That's how, uh, why they did this. So, yeah. Uh, she also wants you to stay out of the tall grass as wild Pokemon may attack. Just as you enter his house, Barry. Okay, so let's go into his house. Hey, Roxas, don't go into the tall grass. Wild Pokemon might attack you. Okay. It would be okay if you had your own Pokemon, but you don't. So, okay. Twin Leaf Town, science guy. Technology just blows me away. I mean, now you can play with people around the world wirelessly. I'm not so sure if he says the same. Okay, I could get in to here. Okay, this is weird. Hello. Listen, listen, Roxas, I want a cute Pokemon. Uh, good for you, I guess. Did you hear the Pokemon Professor returned to the next town over? He says he's gone for four long years. I wonder if he found some amazing Pokemon while he was gone. Okay, so I don't think this is Barry's house. What's this? Train leave town, fresh and free. Interesting. Is this Barry's house? I think this is... Yeah, this is how you see it. Pum! God! <laughs> oh! What was that about? Hey, Roxas! I'm going t to the lake. You should come too. And be quick about it. Okay, Roxas, I'm finding you one million. If you're late. Pocky dollars. Pokens. I like to call them pokens. I don't know if they say the name of the currency at some point. Oh jeez, I forgot something. Okay, 
As just as you try to enter his house, Barry bumps into you. He tells you to come with him to Lake Verity, and says that he will find you one million <laughs> pokens if you aren't there. As he's about to leave, Barry notices that he has forgotten something and runs back inside the house. Okay, so let's go inside. Hello. Oh, hi, Roxas. Are you looking for Barry? He was gone for a second, but then he came running right back home. He just can't sit still, that boy. I wonder who he takes after. Ah, you tell me. It's still... It's still weird how... I can... Eh, move faster side to side and front and back. I'd better take my bag and guidebook too. Oh, hey, Roxas! We're going to the lake. I'll be wa waiting on the road. It's a uh, 10 million fine if you're late. He also has a Nintendo Switch and also has a bit facing the wall. Interestingly enough. Turn off your TV! Where, is, where there is Pokedge, there is a joy. Hold on. I guess that the uh, Y button is gonna be for the Pokedge. Pokemon where smiling faces gather. Okay, so depending on the image on the TV, we can get a different reaction. Pokemon Center, always by your side. I guess those are the logos. Oh no, wait, before we leave. Okay, nothing happens. <clears throat> Head inside and upstairs, where Barry is deciding what to bring. Then he notices you, threatens you to find a 10 million uh, fine, and rushes out of the house. He will now be waiting for you on Route 201. Now head north to reach the route. Okay, let's follow. It is Route 201. Nice. It looks so nice. Why do they make this art style like this? Sorry, I'm, I'm gonna try not to complain that much because it's gonna be this uh, let's play a little bit tiresome, so... Hey, you saw that news report that was on TV, right? You know, search for the Red Gardos, the mysterious appearance of the furious Pokémon in a lake. Maybe actually they didn't get that because... Uh, Lance caught it? I think he, Lance gets it in some storylines. That show got me thinking. I'll bet our local lake has a Pokemon like that in it too. So what's that's what we're gonna do. We'll go find a Pokemon in like that. That's it. Now he'll now be waiting for you on Route 201. Head north to reach the route. Route 201. Barry sees you and follows you. If you turn east, try to go. He follows me! That's so cool. What happens if I do this? Remember what your mother said? Roxas, don't go into the tall grass while Pokemon might attack you. You would be okay if you had your own Pokemon, but you don't, so... Okay. So he just... Oh, he teleports! <laughs> Blum. <laughs> Blum. <laughs> Blum. <laughs> That's so funny. I think I would rather for him to just like... Uh, we, we being able to push Barry aside and then him following us. But I guess that's just the big mechanic of this game. Oh, so there's no cutscene between one and the other. I like that. Never mind, here it is. <laughs> like Verity ahead, uh, the lake of emotions. Yeah. Barry sees you and follows you. If you turn east and try to go through the tall grass, your mom's words will suddenly pop out of nowhere and prevent you from entering tall grass. Head west and go to Verity Lakefront. Eh. Alright, to the lake, let's find us our Red Gardos. What's going on? Professor, there wasn't, there isn't anything out of the ordinary on the other side either. 
Hmm, I may... I may have been mistaken. Something appears to be different than it was before, but... Fine, it's enough that we have uh, seen the lake. Done, we're leaving. Professor, how are you enjoying being back in Sino after being away for four years? It must be exciting again. Hmm, there's, there's one thing I can say. There are many rare kinds of Pokémon in Sino. The region should serve us very well in regard to our studies. Excuse me, let us pass, please. He forgets his bag. I beg your pardon. I'll be on our... We'll be on our way. What was that about, those two? Uh, Roxas, let's go check this out. Ellipsis, ellipsis. What's that? Don't go... Don't go into the tall grass? No problem, no problem. We won't be in there long enough for a wild Pokemon to come out. Okay, so we get dragged. It's a briefcase. Uh, those people forgot it here. What are we supposed to do with it? We can try to return it, but who were they? I heard them say, Professor. Wah, Pokemon! What's going on? Ooh. Look, these are the Pokeballs. Let's uh, battle using the Pokemon in them. Which one do you want, uh, then? Okay. Uh, I'm just gonna follow the, the walkthrough a little bit. Uh, this uh, Lake Verity front, this is a short path that leads you to the lake. Follow the path ahead to the Lake Verity. After you reach uh, Route <coughs> Lake Verity, after you reach uh, Route 201, Barry tells you about uh, the news report about the TV Red Gardos. He wants you to go to the local lake to see if there is similar Pokemon. There is a similar Pokemon, and he will now follow you. Walk to Lake Verity. Upon your arrival, you see Professor Rowan and either Lucas or Don, whoever is the opposite gender of your selected player character. Ooh, I would love to know if it was Lucas or if Lucas is gonna be on the game. Or if we chose the female one. Would Lucas be the name? Because Barry didn't have the, even as a suggestion of the name. Which is weird, but okay. <coughs> The two are searching the lake for something and discuss Rowan's return to Sino after four years. Okay, so that hasn't changed. They push past you and uh, Don apologizes. Barry goes to investigate the briefcase Rowan left behind. When you enter the longer grass, you search. You each get attacked by wild starling. You then open the briefcase to find the three Pokeballs containing Turtwig, a Chimchar, and a Piplop. Now, when you choose one, that Pokemon will become your starter Pokemon, and Barry will automatically select the one with the type advantage over yours. Choosing the correct starter Pokemon for your style of battling is an important choice. And I asked you to choose uh, the one that I would like to get, so... Their sprites are pretty much the same as they were on Sword and Shield, so... You said, uh, Turtwig, so let's get a Turtwig! It's kind of funny that I don't have a, a hat on. You encountered a wild turny. Garu Tartwig! Now, I don't have the type of advantage here, but... I don't even have a Razor Leaf. Or Leaf Edge. Wow. Growl. That was a strong hit. Wow, I can't even check the stats of anything. I want to see its nature and something. Check the summary, but I can't. While well, Starly fainted. Okay, 12 experience points. Uh, that uh, tells me that we're gonna be sharing experience. That's something I didn't like on 
front shield. I mean, the experiencer was a good uh, item to have, but I wish you could turn it on and off whenever you had, because otherwise they just force you to gain experience you don't want, so... Why you're totally, totally rocked! But my team turn was way tougher than yours. They were other people... They were other people's Pokémon, but we had to use them. Those people won't mind, will they? Oh, there's the briefcase. The professor would have been furious if I'd lost it. Oh, oh no! Did, did you use the Pokémon that were in here? You did! Oh my gosh, what's the professor gonna say? This is not so... This is so not good. I'll take this briefcase for now. So we have Pokemon right now. What was that about? I don't know what's going on, Roxas, but uh, let's get out of here. My Pokemon got hurt from that battle. If we get attacked by another Pokemon, we might be in trouble. It was your idea to come here, Barry. Jesus. Yeah. Okay, here on the walkthrough, they have a little... <laughs> uh, ...briefing of the advantages and disadvantages of each starter you choose, which is kind of nice. I'm just gonna li read what uh, Turtwig says. Turtwig, the turtle Pokémon, is a solid choice. The Turtwig evolves at, into Grottle at level 18 and in, then Torterra at level 32. Turtwig is, is a grass type and Torterra is a grass ground type Pokémon. Torterra has a great attack and defense, but low special attack and speed. If you don't rely on speed to win, uh, and like your physical attacks, this Pokémon is a good choice for you. It gets Razor Leaf and Crunch pretty early on, and Earthquake eventually. <laughs> Torterra also gets Wood Hammer from the move Totter. Another good move for Torterra is Curse, which boosts its attack and defense, uh, its two best stats, while decreasing its speed, which is already very low. It also gets Synthesis for healing itself. For team moves, it gets Bullet Seed, a Return Giga Impact, and a wide range of other moves. Also, it gets the TM Rock Polish to sharply boost its speed every time it's used, which helps patch up the Torterra's horrific speed stats. Swords Dance is also a good uh, sharply boost. The it's also good to sharply boost the attack stat, but you should uh, choose either this or course, not both. It can learn Cut, Strength, Rock Smash, and Rock Climb for HM moves, which will help on your adventure. Torterra does have a major weakness to ice attacks, so uh, so be wary of that. In any case, Torterra does quite well. Uh, does quite well at the gyms for most part of, and this is a very good choice. And actually, I think it's the best starter because our first gym uh, battle is against Rourke, and it's a rock type, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, wow, the description for Chimchar is twice as long. Uh, Big blob. Okay. Uh, la, 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 where it ends, where it ends. Here we go. All the stars are good choices, and it is down to your personal preference to make a good decision. In any case, it's time to move on. Battle the level 2 Starly and defeat it to give. Uh... Wait, what? Uh, battle the level 2 Starly and defeat it to give your new Pokemon 16 experience points. Suddenly, Lucas uh, 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 Dawn returns and remarks that Ron would be very angry if he, she forgot the briefcase. When Dawn realizes that you have used the Pokemon from the briefcase, she takes the briefcase and hurries off. So go back to Twinleaf Town. Okay. You go ahead! I know we have to return these Pokemon. They're not ours. I want to... But I want to spend a little more time with this little guy. Okay, so let's go. <laughs> hey, it's those people. Is that old guy staring at us? Hmm. I heard from them that you used your Pokemon, our Pokemon. Let's see them, please. Hmm. 
Tartric and Chimichar. Hmm, ellipses. Hmm, I see. That's how it is. Then I'm going back to my lab. Okay. Uh, okay, Professor. P please, wait for me. I think you should visit our lab later. Okay, see you. And I think this is a good moment for us to... Oh, I thought that was it. <laughs> what was all that craziness about? I mean, if he was angry, he could have just yelled at us or whatever. And it... And didn't want... Didn't he want his Pokemon back? Roxas, we should go home too. Okay. Oh! Godsane! Does this happen? That's why I have the, <laughs> the walkthrough here. What's up, dear? Wow, I can't believe that happened to you. I am very glad that you both... That both you and Barry are unharmed. The professor you mentioned is most likely Professor Rowan of Sanjim Town. I've heard that he is well known for his studies on Pokemon. I hear he also he's also quite intimidating. Roxas, I think you need to visit him in Sanjim Town. You need to properly explain why you had no choice but to use his Pokemon. Don't worry, I'm sure he'll understand. Oh, I know, Roxas, put this on. Receive a pair of running shoes. Okay, so the running shoes are still a thing here. Going to San Jim Town is like an adventure in itself, right? With these running shoes, you can get to faraway places much faster. Okay, let me read the instructions. Tilt the left stick firmly to dash about faster than ever before. Put the running shoes on and blaze new trails of adventure. Well, isn't that just nifty? Okay, so I can run indoors, which I'm not so sure that we were able to, but can I save now? Oh, we were already able to save. Now we can ch uh, check the Tartwig. Grass type. Uh, it's a lonely. Oh, that lowers attack, right? Raises attack and lowers defense. Check on withdraw. Interesting. He looks cute on uh, these. I like this screen to analyze our Pokemon. Now, I don't know where the the bows are gonna be at. I guess that uh, when we progress through the story. Wow, <laughs> that symbol on the bottom uh, below the points needed to level up. That looks interesting. I know that each uh, Pokemon generation has their own, like, signature, so to speak. And uh, this is... I guess this is the one for this gen. Or this game, at least. But, okay. So let's see what uh, the walkthrough tells us, and I'm gonna wrap up the episode uh, there. So, uh, it says, On your way back to Twinleaf Town, you meet Don and Professor Rowan, who takes a look at the Pokemon you and Barry have, and returns to his lab. Rowan's assistant mentions that you should stop by Rowan's lab and then hurries off. After that, you will automatically return to your house in Twinleaf Town. You explain the situation that occurred at the lake, and Mom gives you a pair of running shoes, as she asks you to visit Professor Rowan in Sanjim Town. Now, are they... Hold on. Uh. Oh, those. Wow! The running shoes are not a key item. Interesting. But yeah, uh, I'm gonna wrap up the episode right here. Uh, I know that this uh, Let's Play is gonna take a long while to <laughs> upload, especially since I'm doing like a comparison through a walkthrough to with Pearl so yeah uh, I guess that's it <laughs> uh, I don't have anything else to add uh, tell me uh, just one thing uh, which Pokemon do you want me to use uh, alongside this let's play uh, I have my own ideas I'm pretty sure you know which Pokemon I want I don't know if it's gonna be available early on I know that maybe in 
I think it's available, but only way later into the game. Uh, but we'll figure it out. Uh, for now, that's it. <laughs> so, yeah, thank you for watching. Leave a like if you did, and it's time to wrap it up. Bye bye!